people. This summer it will be my uh, fifth year as pastor here at Prince of Peace. Um, and it's been really an honor to be able to be a pastor uh, back in my own hometown where I was born and raised and grew up. And I've had all of my sacraments and everything here at St. Michael's and then now here at St. Mary's, which is Prince of Peace. Um, and also, uh, I had my first Mass as a priest uh, right here in this church on June the 6th in 1993. And it's been a pleasure every day to come and gather with the community here. Uh, many new people that I don't know, but many old families that have been part of our community here for, for decades. My family has been a member of this church, back to my great-grandparents. Um, my husband's family has been a member, members of this church just as long. Okay, I've been a member of this parish for uh, 75 years. Uh, I started out at St. Michael's when I was about three years old, and my parents then moved to a farm, and we went to St. Patrick's, and we went to St. Patrick's Parish until it was merged to the Prince of Peace, and we became members of the Prince of Peace Parish. Thirty years ago when I moved to Madison, my first mission was to find a Catholic church. And when I walked into these doors, St. Mary's at the time, I knew that this was the place for me, not just because of the building itself, but because of the people and the parishioners. We've been members of the parish since we moved to Madison about 20 years ago. Um, we've had some of our children baptized here. For us, mass attendance is pretty important because we really feel like it gives us the, the strength, the grace that we need. The other day I went to visit someone in Milton and I was coming back across the bridge and of course you know you can see our steeple is kind of the main thing once you cross the bridge and I was looking at it and I boy that steeple really needs some help and uh, you know our church really needs some help to really make it the beautiful building um, that we inherited. Campaign it's, it's really necessary. We, you look around and you see the, the steeple is in bad shape, the, it, the roof is leaking, but, uh, we need painting. And if, if you have a, your own home, you take care of it, and this is the Lord's home and we have to take care of it. The church building that we worship in is really one of the cool uh, historic buildings in Madison. Great, fabulous uh, stained glass windows. Uh, wonderful architecture and a lot of heritage here, first generation Germans uh, who came and founded this parish and built this church. They weren't wealthy and there was a lot of sacrifice that went into the construction of the building. We celebrated Ash Wednesday and we put ashes on our forehead as an outward sign of an inward reality. And that's truly what our church building is all about. It's the outward sign of who we are inwardly as Catholic Christians as we come to this building to, to worship. Our outward building is in need of some great repairs as well as just kind of looking to what our future needs are for, for our building. One of my uh, favorite pictures that I have of my mother and father um, are of them just getting married and it's an outside picture uh, facing the windows of the church. And uh, the windows of our church here have always been just such an important feature. It's very beautiful images of the life of Christ um, and the life that he calls us into. Uh, and so I'm very proud of the fact that uh, not only uh, am I a Catholic uh, and can worship in this uh, parish, but we also have this treasure of a church uh, that reflects so many years of, of heritage and sacrifice uh, uh, here in Madison. The fact that they were able to build a church of this quality and of this size really reflects the importance uh, that the early settlers and parishioners put in their faith uh, here in Madison. I love this church and I feel like it's um, crucial that we guarantee that in the future this is here for our children as well. Um, we need this mission, we need the, to do this for our kids. I've celebrated all my sacraments from baptism to my first communion, um, confirmation, um, my marriage to my husband. Um, we've celebrated the life of family members here that have passed away. We want our daughter to be able to come to church here forever. We want her to be able to send her kids to this church and bring them to church here, and we want it to be here for years to come. Well, for me, I think it's important that we preserve the legacy of the, uh, the parish so that uh, it's here for our children and our grandchildren. And this is the Lord's home, and we have to take care of it. You know, of course, we need your financial support for our campaign, but we also need your prayers. That's what this community is all about. It's about prayer. It's about our connection to God and our connection to one another. Coming here together as a family is important and I, for our kids to see um, the whole 
Catholic community worshiping together. I think that it's going to be very important to pray for our campaign um, as a family as well. Prayer is, is a really powerful way to help that campaign not just be successful, but to take us in the right direction. Uh, and the fact that we're uh, going to rehabilitate it uh, for the next hundred years uh, gives me a great deal of joy and satisfaction. And this is the Lord's home and we have to take care of it. It's been handed to us and now it's our turn. Please support us in our capital campaign for Prince of Peace Parish, your parish, a steeple for the people. Open the doors and see all the people. Building today for tomorrow.